Bro, I think Google Translate is losing its mind right now because I'm trying to translate the title of the hidden track on the album. And it's giving me polka dots. It's giving me tight. It's giving me so much stuff and I don't know what it is. Listen, Google Translate sucks. Not me. I I think it says tang tang tang. I could be wrong, but I also don't know what that translates to, and I could be very wrong on the pronunciation. Because my Korean ain't there. It's there, but it's not. But we're about to not only unbox, open up my album, my Luna album, we're going to do the first listen. Because I haven't heard anything except for So What, uh, Burn, and 365. Now, normally that would mean there's only two extra tracks, and technically there is. I really only reacts to two things, but they also, the damn recording this is the third. Yesterday they dropped the dance practice for So What? I have to. I always do. I have to. But also, I bought a limited album, which means I believe the limited albums are the ones that have a hidden track on it, and I'm going to have to pop the disc into my computer, and I have never put a disc in my computer, so if I put it the wrong way, what, what happens? Did something bad happen? Would it damage my disc if I put it in the wrong way? But I'm very guys. I haven't got my poster in yet because they ship separately. But my poster is also coming in the mail. Hopefully they don't ruin it the way my idol one got ruined and my dreamcatcher one got ruined. I, I, I don't even want to talk about it. I was seething. Luna have been doing the damn thing promoting, bro. I think as recent as yesterday, they were they did another stage. I think it was on the show. Can't remember if it was the show or show champion, but. Their promotion cycle for this album, like going on shows, has been long. And they are working so fucking hard, bro. It's just a, a timing of things, yo. It's, it's always a timing, especially for the sake of like wanting to get like a first win. You're never gonna get the perfect timing. There's always gonna be someone who's like super, super established for a long time, gonna be coming back right around the same time. And as this, I, I feel like this deserves their first one. And I will use the word deserve very strongly. I took that long trying to take that off. I haven't even taken it off yet. It took that long to remove that. And I was trying. But I was saying, I feel like 100% this deserved a first one. Let me not damage it. And continue to open this the right way. Okay. Oh my god, why does it look so perfect? Why does this album look so perfect? Also, I think the limited ones are numbered. I don't know how many there are, but I got number 20. So... 19 and 21, we're neighbors, whether you like it or not. And if I need kale, I will knock on your door and I will get kale. Dude, the cover itself looks so nice. And I also think I've only seen like a handful of pictures from the album. But some of them, I might be mixing them up with, because I haven't seen specifically the ones that are photo cards for this, I might be mixing some of them up with the season greetings ones that I've seen as well. Because uh, I have seen like so many people upload like pictures or scans of their photo cards on Twitter. And I kind of mix them up sometimes with the uh, Season Greetings one. So I don't know all the ones for this. And like I said, I also don't know who I got. So I'm going to open it in that direction. I don't know if it's going to be the first page. And I'll look this way because this is where my stuff is. Oh, it's not. It's the album. Oh, that looks so nice. Like, hold on. Let me see that album. Oh, hell no. I do not want to accidentally put this in my computer the wrong way. That thing is precious. What if I put it the wrong way and it tears up this beautiful image on this disc? But I need to listen to the <laughs> hidden track because it's also not here and y'all won't see my reaction to the hidden track because I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. I already went into this not thinking that was right. But I also went in here looking for the title so I can at least say what the title was. And I can't see an upload of it either. So, I don't know. And I don't think this book is removable so let me not break it. And just like, I'll, I'll just stop. I'll just stop where... Uh, it stops where like where the card would be. That was completely ineffective. I felt nothing. It did it did nothing. This album did nothing. This album is not working with me. Is there a card? Did, did this album even come with a photo card? <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to see it. There's no there's no separation. Unless it's in the very last page. Listen, this is such a weird opening, but I'm weird, so it's fine. Last page? Last page? Is that the last page? I'm gonna rip some shit. I I'm gonna rip something. The last page? No? Maybe? It's not. 
Okay, okay. I have I have encountered the photo card, but it's so dark that I didn't see who it was. So I don't know who it is, but it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It's in here. I don't know who it is. I'm gonna put it up to the camera and it's facing me. It's facing me and it is true. Oh my god, I failed, but I got true. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. Listen, listen, listen. This happens with Dreamcatcher. Yes, I've been losing my shit over Minji, which is GU. You know her GU. And my bias is you here. My original Luna bias is true. I did eventually just like stand the flock, stand the flock, stand all the birds. And Kim Lip is also kind of like the GU. GU is for Dreamcatcher, what Kim Lip is to Luna for me, okay? And she kind of like sometimes just takes over. And I don't mention Chu often, but I love me some Chu. And I got a Chu photo card, and no one can take this from me. <laughs> no one can fucking take this from me. Oh my god, I got Chu. Last time I was on BTS, I also got my bias. I got Jimin, and I got Chu. Oh my god. But I want to look through the book. But just like when I got Jimin, I gotta process the fact that I just pulled my bias. Dude, I should just probably play the lottery every day. I should legit just play the lottery every day. This is how addiction starts, so don't do that. I remember when I, I got got in the street with those people that like flipped the cards and I was like, yeah, I'm with it. And then they yeeted my whole shit. They yeeted my whole shit. But I allowed myself to get yeeted. I will not get yeeted, but I, I am lucky. I am lucky, and I will take this one to the bank, okay? I don't know if anyone has 100% like gone. Okay, I don't want to open the book the entire way because I that's, that ain't me. Blindfold Heejin is my new favorite Heejin. All Heejin is great Heejin, but Blindfold Heejin is good Heejin. The one with the rose. The one with the rose. That, one is, that is a perfect image. It is actually my phone wallpaper on like my home screen. That that Heejin is a great Heejin. To Vivi's side profile, oh my god. How I get to Vivi's side profile before I get to the side profile goddess herself. Hold on. Did I even show that on screen? I'm sorry. There's a big ass glare. I am so bad at this, bro. Why do y'all watch me? Okay, I lower the lights, but it's ineffective because the light still shines on it. But look at that side profile. You will get more lines next title track. Correction, you will get lines. Next title track. Excuse me! Excuse me! I don't want to open it all the way. This is the dangers of these books. Because it's not me to like spread out the pages like that. Because I know it damages them. Oh my god. Yo, look at her fucking claws, bro. I know I've seen that picture before, but her claws are insane on that picture. Oh my god! It's it's pictures from the teasers. I just... I, I, I know the first time, but when they did it the second time, it's these now. Got you. Got you. Oh my god. Let's listen to this album. Let's listen to the album. Well, the two songs on this album, the, the the practice and the hidden track, I will listen to and just talk about it at the end because I'm not gonna play it in the video because I think that's just wrong. I'm gonna check out the, the track on my own, find out how it's supposed to go on my computer because I obviously gotta put the album in there and then we'll listen to it. All right, so like I said, we've obviously reacted to So What and if you've never seen it and you wanna see my reaction to it, my reaction is up. It's a long reaction. I'm warning you. It's literally a long reaction because I'm just fanboying throughout. But it's fine. It's fine because Luna deserves it. I want to watch the dance practice because you dropped it yesterday and I didn't get to it. I couldn't get to anything yesterday, unfortunately. <laughs> also, let me just say shout out to their stylist for all the stages, bro. Because it's crazy how they went like from this like very youthful 
look in high high and because it's literally like school uniforms almost and then they go to like this very elegant butterfly style and now they've got like a mix of like elegance and like punk going on it's 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 wild and i fucking love it and their outfits i i adjust as as we went on i've had to adjust because they just keep topping the last project, the, the last outfits every single time. This is sleeveless. Kim live with a high ponytail. Dude, I love, I'm gonna love her transition back to long hair if she ever does fully go back. Yo, Eve goes so hard, bro. Look at her, bro. Like, look at her. Like, it's what I said when I reacted to the stage. Like, she just goes so hard. That's why, her more so than anyone else, you could like find like one of those pauses because she's just so intense with everything. Look at her. I don't gotta worry about you being the focus on her part. Hit her there like this. Oh God. And then I'm going back to it. Also, in one of the stages, I think it was the very last one where I reacted to it before they went to the blue outfits. That also, like I said, clowns to the top of outfits for this thing, mainly because of Kim Lip's hair. The outfits themselves look bomb, but Kim Lip finally didn't have a high ponytail there. I think I was told that she said about it hurting or something like that. Um, I don't remember where they said they saw it. I don't remember hearing that anywhere or like reading that anywhere. But I was told that like. She went with the lo the the loose hair. Like I think her hair was it was like wet, and or the appearance of it being wet, but it just wasn't a high ponytail. And I always talked about that high ponytail moment that will always be iconic. And she did it in the dance practice, so I appreciate it. I appreciate it. This dance practice was probably recorded before the uh, the those stages anyway, like the ones with her with the, the hair down. But supposedly it was because it hurt. I don't know if it's true. Regardless, if that's the case, I'm glad she took it off. But they're still iconic. Those moments are still iconic in this part. Now we go back to appreciate it one more time. Dude, in Dax practices, you can so much more appreciate how in sync they are because it's just fixed. This shit will always be a thorough one. finish and enter the last chorus after we experience the bridge one more time. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I love this bridge so much. Get that shit front and center too! I love this comeback for right now. Like, they're such fucking badasses, bro. I love this comeback so much. Like, this comeback is so... everything, okay? Like, maybe I'm a bit less... I don't know. I don't know what I would call it. But I don't think it makes me less of a fan to be okay with the fact that I didn't get their first win. Just because I know they're still killing it, you know? And I know the majority of this fandom can carry them as far as they want to go. That first win just obviously means a lot, and it'll be dope to see them get it. Uh, so, the fact that it hasn't happened yet sucks, but hey, they're still on shows, so. Okay. But I check out number one. Number one is, is it the next one? I don't know if in order, because it was Burn, so what? Uh, I think it is. Because then it's, let me not go, I don't want to go out of order, because it says it right in the front. It's so what, number one, oh, yeah, slash yes I am, and then the hidden track. Which I will listen to and let you know what it's like. But you've probably listened to it already. Alright, number one. Not what it's like, what I think of it. Oh. We're starting with Kim Let That Live is always a great time. It's always a great time if you're starting with Kim Lip Ad Libs, okay? Get it, Kimberly? describe them it's kind of 80s like drum hey Ooh, it started off slow jams and kicked up a little bit and goes back to full on slow Oh yeah, yeah, yes. I appreciate you. But she knows more than two words. I waited way too long, bro. Forever, Kimberly. Forever. Tick, 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 tick. 
Kimla and close with Kimla. Oh, satisfaction, bro. Satisfaction. The Maraca got to me. Okay. Now we're gonna check out. Oh, yes, I am. Why did I sing? <laughs> Why did I sing? Why did I say Papa Boo? Yes, I am like that. What is wrong with me? I was so not even like in the melody of the song. Appreciative of these flock openings. Yeah. 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 I, I'm very appreciative. I appreciate you. Somebody kick in. I think I'm multiple words. Where are we going? That is such a pretty picture. Dude. this long process it took this long a process I just wasn't prepared it took to like a minute in the process that goes through this here does that call for a re is that the first time that was the first time she got lines so I wasn't focused no she got lines back here I think I was focused on Jinso's picture there <laughs> I think that's probably what happened. Yeah, it was. That's what I was talking about. That was right after Jinso's picture. I was still focused on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not going to start over, but we are going to go from where she first came in. I didn't even make the distinction that that's a completely different green than going in the in the text oh my god oh my god i got my flock fixed this this comes back i actually got my flock fixed I love, I love, I love. I think this is so far the most lines we've gotten. I love it. Ooh, I love how most of everything cuts out when the start of this chorus. Listen, she wasn't a temporary replacement for Hasul as an honorary flock member. She's still honorary flock. It's all up 
appreciate it. That's all I appreciate it. That's all I appreciate it. It is all appreciated, bro. Did she already get more lines than every other song combined than just this song? I think I think she might have. That whole that whole like second half of the bridge too, like both of them rapping and then Olivia getting like an extended rap too. song is that's a b-side but that's what this hidden track is for that's what this hidden track is for so now i'm gonna listen to it and i'll let you know how it goes Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to let you know, bro. I just want to let you know. Next to So What, because So What cannot be topped. And I was also told on Twitter that the song is called Day and Night. That's my favorite B-side. That's my favorite B-side. Okay, I think I'd say my three in order are probably So What, Day and Night, 365, Interchangeable with Yes I Am. Interchangeable with Yes I Am 365, but 365 is so good. Um, and that's not to say that, uh, that's not to say that number one was like not good. It's just that I like those the most and I see myself listening to those three just regularly. But when I sit through this album, I'm just gonna sit through the whole album because it's just that kind of album. But I think I'd go out of my way to start myself listening to this album with one of those four and then just play through it. Because there's always those songs in that album that you would go to, even if you're gonna listen to the whole thing, you go and start with this one. And those, it's those four for me. This is good, bro. And like, I waited a long ass time to finally check it out. I wanted the album to get here. It's been in my possession for not even a week yet. Probably a little bit under a week, maybe five, six days, uh, because we just passed the week. And I think it was midweek last week that I got it. And I guess it's kind of midweek now, but I like it, y'all. And it, it oh, slightly unfortunate that my first Luna poster is gonna be not OT12, but I will get my hands on that butterfly poster, that beautiful, beautiful butterfly poster. Okay, I will get my hands on it. The one where they're sitting around, the vertical one, they're sitting around with uh, Mom's in the middle. I will get that poster. That, that poster will be in my room. It will be that gorgeous, gorgeous poster will be in here. In the meantime, this was great. I'm gonna wait for the other one to come in the mail. I need to do my best to make sure they don't damage it because. If I showed you what they did to my Dreamcatcher one, it is just... I posted the pictures on uh, Twitter, but it just sucks. It was some careless shit by the mail people, the mail people, because it wasn't um, where I got it from. It was not their fault. It's a poster too. They literally bent it and shoved it in my mailbox, and I can't do anything at that point. Except for wait! Wait for them down there next time it says it's coming. Because I will do it. I will do it. A bitch will get their, 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 their Luna poster. Unharmed. Unharmed.